Knitting is a one-dimensional system that outputs a two-dimensional object because it starts with just one thread or two threads and then they create a series of loops that are connected to the previous series of loops so it creates a fabric from nothing. If you unravel knitting, it will unravel back to yarn forever. And there it goes. Goodbye fabric. So I have a math degree and I've been obsessed with knitting for a long time, specifically obsessed with knitting machines. I make all one-off, non-repeating scarves made with mathematical generative algorithms. Specifically, I wanted items that looked similar but were all unique. And so I started looking for different patterns that would do that. And so I found the elementary cellular automata and it's something you would learn in a beginner computer science class or your first coding class or you even in a math class. It's a very simple set of rules that determine what the next row looks like based on what the previous row does. And there are 256 rules. Some of those rules are famous. So rule 110 is fairly famous because it's been proven to be Turing complete, as in Alan Turing, the mathematician. The pattern itself is itself a computer. And so it's a special classification in both computer science and language theory that something is Turing complete. That's the most complex it can be because it is itself a computer, <laughs> which is weird that you could wear a Turing complete scarf, which is why I started knitting it. And you'll see that if you knit rule 110 multiple times, they all look similar. You can tell they're part of the same pattern. My favorite is rule 73, which is not a very well-known rule. I like the way it looks. It's kind of square looking and it only exhibits chaos in certain widths. So it only actually looks interesting depending on whether it's an odd or an even width. So if you have 97 pixels wide versus 98, it looks totally different. That's why I like rule 73. It takes about 25 minutes to knit a scarf right now on my industrial knitting machine. I hand finish all of the scarves, so even though it takes 25 minutes to knit a scarf, it takes me another 10 to 15 minutes to sew in the ends, and then that waste yarn gets removed, and another few minutes to hand steam all of them. I do all of my own packing, and each scarf comes with a printed out page with care instructions and also the code for what's knit into the scarf. So I am a factory of one, me and my 3,000 pound machine.